Imagine there was a way to never feel tired again. This is not one of them. Uh, Doesn't matter if your sleep sucks or you sleep great, but you feel tired throughout the day. I will guarantee that you will take away something from this video that will make a measurable difference in how you feel. I've tried everything because for the last seven years, I've been fighting a battle against my body. My body is not doing what it's supposed to do. I've tried everything. All right, stop. Let me summarize this entire video for you. The biggest reason why you're tired and low energy is because the solution is so simple that you will roll your eyes, skip those parts in the video, and not learn from my seven years of mistakes. I've warned you, you'll see. My plan, I will start with the things I know, the basics, which are going for morning walks, staying hydrated, exercising, intermittent fasting, getting lots of sunlight, and then winding down an hour before bed. It's almost 8 p.m. Again, working a little late. Just wanna get a few more things done. And yes, I'm gonna wind down eventually. Better late than never. All right, I think this was good. 77. This is a score out of 100 from the most accurate sleep tracking device, the Aura Ring. And I thought this was great. And until I realized this was only the beginning. My sleep score, an hour and a half of REM sleep, almost three hours deep sleep, and a great resting heart rate. Oh, nice Leon. This is mine from last night. I can't believe it. Over two hours of REM sleep, three and a half hours of deep sleep, not a single wake up, almost nine hours of total sleep. Is everything all right, Leon? It's impressive. The new goal was clear. Beat Kyle and get my sleep score into the 90s. But that was gonna take work. Kyle is a sleep coach and an expert on recovery. He spent years figuring out how to get better energy and knows things that most people don't. And if I wanted to beat him, I was really gonna have to level up. It's almost 11 a.m. and I haven't gone outside yet to get some sunlight, get movement in, walk. Today's routine is not looking too good so far. As you may have seen in previous videos, I haven't had the best relationship when it comes to self-care. I would always see self-care as something that is a bit of a waste of time. But since the brain training that my friend Raf and I did in Sedona, I've gotten so much more aware of how I'm mistreating myself. Logically, I knew it's important to recharge and recover, but emotionally, I've always felt like self-care is something for people that are entitled and just spoiled. But it's time to change that. What does it really feel like to have great energy? Today's been a good day so far, in terms of habits and sticking to the routine. Tomorrow morning, will I have better sleep than Kyle? I think you could do it. His is like in the 90s. Dude, I've never reached that. I feel like if you have a wind down routine, you would hit 90s. Kyle already started his four hour sleep routine. I'm just here to beat you. I'm gonna have better sleep scores than you. You can will that into existence as much as you want, it's just never gonna happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 82. Are you not entertained? What's your sleep core? 93. If I hadn't woken up to take a piss, this could have been in the 90s, and I could have rubbed it in Kyle's face. This is not a game anymore. These guys have declared war. Welcome to competitive sleeping. Kyle gives me no other choice. Time to start working out consistently in the mornings and get that sleep up. 75 sleep score. Ice bath and sauna day. Now Kyle doesn't have access to these things. So I'm going to crush him. 76. I want to try winding down for an hour like Kyle. Look who's come to wind down. The sleep daddy is here. What are you doing to wind down? I stopped eating at six o'clock. I stopped eating at five o'clock. And then I'm going to take Magtech from Natural Stacks. This is the best form of magnesium. Use my code, not Leon's code. Cut, cut, cut. Jokes aside, I've linked all sleep products Kyle and I use in the description. And we also recorded a podcast compiling all the sleep tips. 75, a bunch of wake ups. I'm hitting a bit of a plateau here at 75. So today I'm gonna do a bit of a digital detox. Cause I think that's one of the reasons why people have low energy. They're just overstimulated. How do I stop waking up during the night? To me, if you're waking up between two and four and it's like, I'm up, that's blood sugar. I got this continuous glucose monitor, which is gonna help me keep an eye on my blood sugar. Oh, that's it. Cause that may be the reason why I keep waking up during the night. What should I do now? 
Go for a morning walk. We'll set your blood sugar for the rest of the day. I'll do that right now, Kyle. I'll make you proud. And then I'll beat you with your scores. Hey, hey Leon, did you go for your walk yet? <laughs> 75 sleep. I think I'm doing everything right, but I feel like something's still missing. For this video, we also partnered up with letsgetchecked.com, which is a site for getting health tests done online. They send you the test kit, you do the sample yourself, and then it just gets picked up. You can do everything right and still feel off because something in your body is out of whack. So I took a micronutrient test, a thyroid test, or what I think is most important for men, a testosterone test. Because if something's wrong there, you're gonna wanna know so you can fix it. And my results were interesting. Looks all great, except for this one thing, cortisol is high. So check out Let's Get Checked with the link below or use the code LEON25 at checkout for 25% off. Trust me, the sooner you know, the better. Your boy's got healthy testosterone, high cortisol. Okay, that makes sense. What do you mean? Morning walks are gonna be really important for you. I don't wanna be completely negative about this. I mean, sleep score was 75. That's not bad. <laughs> for all the things that I did, yeah. I think it was, it was bad. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, cause like mine was, like 95. Just tell me what I need to do, I'll just do anything. Yeah. I'm happy to spend all day to optimize my sleep. So you said this has been happening for seven years. What happened right before that? I think it started when I was building my first business. I was just forced to leave Australia after I had met my ex, ex-girlfriend. And I was back in Germany, I was miserable. And those were the times where I would wake up in the middle of the night, heart racing, and just like unable to sleep. Like what did you tell yourself about what was going on? in that season of your life. In my mind, if I don't build that business, if I don't achieve these things, I'll never be happy. Yeah, maybe there's something there. 78, all right. I think we're getting somewhere. So how'd you sleep? I was up again for an hour and a half at night. Yeah. Dude, I fell asleep like, tonight I may just do what Raika suggested, my other roommate, just visualizing myself sleeping through the night and just telling my body, hey, this is how it's gonna go. I, I think it could work. Now that you're getting consistent like 75s, now let's bump that up by like five points. Dude, if I get a consistent 80s, holy, like this is, these are the best sleep scores I usually get. For me, that's literally like a bad night. So there's so much room to grow. Take this as far as you want. We can get pretty crazy. <sighs> I was up until 1 a.m., couldn't fall asleep. I was out until 10 p.m. for a dinner with friends. It's past my eating window, guys. And now I pay the price. Eating late last night caused my glucose to spike to 131. So I had trouble falling asleep. Now what does a ring of power say? 65 sleep. Uh, I'm an idiot. No, it's fine. Just follow the protocol today. You'll recover. So in German, we have this term called the devil's cycle, which basically means that the worse things get, the worse they get. <sighs> One of these days where I get to be gentle with myself for being a f***ing idiot. When you get bad sleep, you have less energy to work out, you also crave bad food, and that means you sleep worse, which then creates this whole cycle. Now, usually when I have bad sleep like this, I tend to spiral down because I start worrying about sleep. It just results in a few days of bad sleep until my body gets so exhausted that it just gets knocked out. Now, here's the good news about this devil cycle. When I'm in that downward spiral, I'm in a dark place or I'm stressed. It all starts with exercise. I get my blood pumping, I get into my body, and that slows down that downward spiral. Then I sleep a little better, which makes it easier to eat healthy. Then I have more willpower to go to bed on time. Then I sleep better. Then I have more energy to work out. And that downward spiral slowly becomes an upward spiral. You look tired. Yeah, 65. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're actually in a place to like get to the, the root of this? Yes, I've... I've really had enough. So when I'm working with people, I always start at the root, looking at when did these sleep problems develop? So it doesn't matter how many tools and techniques and strategies and gadgets and gizmos and all the things that you have, your behavioral patterns are all tied to your identity and your belief systems. Yeah, what I'm looking for is really an, an identity shift. And I've just been telling everyone like, oh, I'm a terrible sleeper. I just can't sleep. I just, there's something wrong with me. All we have to do is show the nervous system that is actually safe to sleep. And that takes either time and repetition or heightened emotion. And when you truly feel that it's safe to sleep, eventually you're gonna repattern that belief and then everything's gonna change and you're never gonna look back and your sleep will be different for the rest of your life. Damn. 
Am I making a custom hypnosis track for myself? Maybe. Don't judge. My subconscious will accept everything that I'm about to tell it. I easily and effortlessly fall asleep. I'm a deep sleeper who easily adapts to changing circumstances. <laughs> what a loser! Is that what uh, high sleep scores do to you? I get it out now so that I don't have to deal with it in the night. Otherwise, it's that's suppressed. Whoa. I don't think I woke up. <gasps> 88 sleep score. I have to tell Kyle. Oh, hey, Kyle. 88 sleep score. Yeah. Oh. How'd you do? Yeah, I checked this morning. It's 88. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, see, this is much better. You going to bed a little bit earlier, I think it's going to be really big for you. But what if I have a social event or I want to socialize or do something? Or... If you want to really have a good sleep, my rule, I never get more than two nights of bad sleep in a row. It's kind of like the struggle of being healthy. So many things that you try to avoid and then you don't really fit in anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole reason why you should join DRVN though, right? Is so you can <laughs> meet, no, seriously though, so you can meet other people like you. I mean, he's right. This is why this channel and Driven exists. Quick update, so far 20,000 of you have joined the Driven 30 challenge and have met people from all over the world who are on the same path, which is so exciting. And about that, there's gonna be some updates in the coming weeks. Dude, I have an 88 sleep score. It's just one reference experience. Now you can just build on that. Yes. It's like, yeah, I'm an 88 sleep guy. Yeah. No big deal. Exactly. Where are you? The difference in how I feel is just night and day. I just feel sharp and a good mood. Knowing how I feel now, I'm not willing to go back. I've always told myself I've tried everything and I assume my body was somehow broken or there's something wrong with me. You know, but once I consistently focus on the basics, I slept well. And if I heal my relationship to sleep and rest, I think I can get into the 90s and beat Kyle. All right, check this. Oh, oh, I told you. This man hit that 90. I said it, if you focus on this, you will beat this man right here. I can't believe it, dude. <laughs> yeah, you did it, man. You're in the 90 club now. Now my sleep is still not amazing, but I'm on my way to recovery. It is so much better. Whatever you're struggling with, whether it's sleep, anxiety, depression, yes, you may have tried everything. But have you tried nailing the basics? Are you exercising daily? Getting enough sunlight? Winding down in the evenings? Do you have fulfilling relationships? It's pretty simple, but doing it is an entirely different thing. Kyle and I recorded a podcast with all the details on the basics, so you can nail them as well. There's too much information to cram it all in here, so check it out if you're interested in that. There's a link below. I'll see you over there.